So the actual main reason why we come to the train is to try out the mud bath. So there's four hot springs in the train and we're going to the hot spring by the name of Tap Bar Hot Springs. We heard this is one of the best ones. Our receptionist from our hotel has given us 5% discount. So we're gonna go use that and enjoy the hot springs. It's currently about 7.15 a.m. and we wanna be the first ones there because it opens at eight o'clock so we can enjoy it to ourselves hopefully. We'll see you guys when we get there. So we've just arrived at the mud bath and we've gone for the, um, is it a herbal hot yeah. mineral treatment? So we're gonna spend the next three hours here. It's pretty dead at the moment. So I think getting here early has paid off in our favor once again. If you wanna get to these tourist spots, you gotta either get here early first thing in the morning or in the evening just as it's closing. So it's paid off for us again, I think. We don't actually know which way we're going, but we're gonna head over towards the sign that says mud bath. So yeah, should be should be a good day here. Just got our wristbands, three complimentary water, and two towels. Therapeutic and messy. Very. Danielle got covered. Her hair's all muddy. I'm half there, looking like a mud man. But yeah, all in all, we was like second group here. So it does pay off to come here early. There are people filtering now, but yeah, we're gonna enjoy, relax, and soak some more. We're meant to have 15 minutes in this mud bath, and we've been in it for about. Maybe we have 20. Oh, 20. And we've been in it for about. I don't know, it feels like half an hour already. <laughs> yeah, goodbye. Ha, <laughs> joking. Oh my god, look at the state of me. Um, so yeah, we've just been in the mud bath for about half an hour. And now we're going to shower off, freshen up and go use the swimming pool. But... <sighs> I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. We're about to go into the um, hydro shower and it looks absolutely painful. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is like my pressure shower. Is like, it hurt him? <laughs> it hurts, yeah. It's really hot for you. Really. <laughs> How's it feel? <laughs> right, we just got absolutely battered by the high pressure shower. Nice and warm, nice and refreshed. We're nice and clean now, and I think we're gonna hop into this jacuzzi. Yeah, so you're actually meant to lay in the sun after the mud bath, but as you can see, it is grey as anything right now, so we didn't let in the sun, we just showered, went through the hydro shower, and now we're just chilling in the jacuzzi. Uh, so we're just relaxing the jacuzzi now, and now we're heading to the hot natural mineral bath, which is 30 degrees to 40 degrees Celsius. That so should be nice and warm in there. 
be nice and relaxing. It feels like a spa day without a massage. Let's go. Spending our Valentines in the Mud Springs. Good choice. It wasn't planned, by the way, but how things have planned out. This is how it's planned out. It worked so out well. It's worked out well for us. This is just nice and relaxing now. All right, so we actually treated ourselves and got the herbal package for a little bit more, which was about four hundred thousand dong each, with a five percent discount. What have we got, Daniel? A cinnamon herbal mineral. As you can see, our bath is brown. Everyone else's is just the normal colour of water. It's clear. This is yeah. really relaxing. It's really relaxing. It's about forty degrees. It's nice and warm. With loads of salt. With loads. Uh, yeah, with loads of salt, guys. But yeah, if you're in the train, this is one of the things to do in the train, and I highly recommend coming to the mud bath. Get here early. You might not have to pay for a private bar like we did, and you can have a big one to yourself. Depends if they want to fill it up. But all in all, it's just nice to chill out. After this, we're going to hit the swimming pool and probably chill in the swimming pool for most of the day because it's a overcast and we're not going to the beach. Obviously, there's no sun, so we might as well just chill in a free swimming pool. Well, not free. We pay for it. But yeah, it'll be good. Goodbye. Time for the last stop now, we're heading to the swimming pool. Hopefully we can get like a little sun lounger. We might be busy down here because I don't think everyone's gone to the mud bath, so we're just gonna chill out down here now. Nice little waterfall over there and yeah, yeah looks nice. Gonna enjoy this. So if you're passing through the train in Vietnam, I highly recommend spending the day here and doing the mud baths. You get to soak in mud baths, you get hot mineral water, you get lunch here, you get a swimming pool. All in all, it's a good day out. Definitely worth the money. 400,000 dong per person we paid, which is about 13 pound each. But basically, yeah, if you're enjoying the content, hit that subscribe button and we're just gonna chill here, go for a little swim, get the GoPro out. This has been an absolute amazing day so far. Just been chilling, soaking up some hot. This swimming pool is so yeah, hot. Yeah, this like, is hot. I'm so. It's 37. Yeah, 37 degrees. I'm like, got in it normally. Expect it to be cold, but it's like really warm. Just that's what I like. It's like being in a nice and hot there's bath. And it's cheap food. And we've just ordered some food, which is really cheap. You can literally just spend the whole day here, do all the therapeutic stuff in the morning, and then just come enjoy the swimming pool towards the end of the day. We're literally going to sit here for like three, four hours, Probably. I think. Yeah, because there's not much going on, as you can see. So that's it for today's vlog, guys. We've had a great day here today, so we're just going to end it here. That was the plan today, to just enjoy the mud bath, but yeah. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up. We're going to be vlogging almost every day. We're going to get out as much vlogs as possible while we're in Vietnam. Our next destination is Laos, which we're heading to in three days time. We've got to take a sleeper bus, which is a 22 hour bus journey. So we're going to vlog that as well. So you guys can see what it's like to get a sleeper bus from one country to another. But yeah, that's it for today's vlog, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Stay subscribed. Cheers.